guys, this is Small Couponer. These are the Walgreens best deals for the week of November 6th through November 12th. And these are all digital and printable coupon deals. So let's get started. For advanced couponers, timestamp in pin comment. So if you are new to Walgreens, I do have a video link in the description box. It is the first video explaining what spend deals are and buy deals are. So um, you can screenshot this for your reference. So these are all of the rules. The only thing that Walgreens changed is the point system into Walgreens cash. Everything else is still the same. So for buy deals, basically you can use Walgreens cash to pay and still get Walgreens cash back. The only time that you have to be careful is if it's a spend deal and you have to follow all of those rules that I already mentioned. So just a reminder, every Sunday, make sure that you clip your main fetch traditional coupons, check coupons.com app and coupons.com for new main fetch coupons. Even if you are not couponing on Sunday, I recommend that you at least save the coupons because some coupons, they do have a limit. So they will appear on Sunday and disappear the next day. And more videos will be uploaded based on the new main factor coupons and rebates that we get. And make sure that you are subscribed and turn on all notifications so that you receive all of the notifications from this channel. Weekly ads differ from region to region. Most deals are similar, but a few deals may differ. And store pricing may vary from store to store. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. It will really help me out and it's free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So make sure that you choose all so that you receive all of the notifications from my channel. If you are new to Walgreens, there are rules to online couponing. So make sure to check out the second and third video link in the description box. You only need to watch the short beginning of both videos. So this video was made on November 3rd. It is before the new week. So make sure that you check the tags in store, walgreens.com and coupons.com, just to make sure that all of these items are part of the deals for new promotions and new coupons. Even check your rebate apps throughout the week because sometimes new offers pop up every so often so that some of these could be better deals. So I did receive a digital spin booster. I got spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash. This is valid from November 6th through November 12th. So it has to be 20 after all store coupons if you are doing it in store or on the app. On the app, your mileage may vary. Don't use the website, which is walgreens.com because it is counting the 20 after store coupons and manufacturer coupons. So do it in store or on the app. Recently, I have been doing a lot of these in store so that, you know, I get my Walgreens cash back. So 20 after all store coupons in store or on the app and the forms of store coupons are IBCs. And I will explain what those are in the first deal with an IBC coupon, threshold boosters and register rewards that have store coupon on the top. And I will provide scenarios throughout the whole video using this booster. So I also want to note, if you are using the app to do this and if it works out where you are, make sure that you are following the online couponing rules that I have in the description box. So it's the second and third video because some of the deals are not for curbside. They are only for uh, free ship to store or ship to home. And those are not for curbside and you will not get the Walgreens cash back. So be very careful because some deals you can do through curbside and some deals are only for free um, ship to store or ship to home. So be very careful. And those videos are linked in the description box below. Again, it is the second and third video. For intermediate or advanced couponers, I do have an ultimate scenario at the end where you can use a lot of Walgreens cash to pay on a spend deal, is a low out of pocket and getting a ton of stuff. So stay tuned. So let's get started with all of the deals. Household deals. So the finished dishwasher products, these are still on sale for $4.99. So you will use the $1.50 off digital. If you get the Quantum, the Ibotta rebate value is 25 cents higher than the other ones. So you'll pay $3.49. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. Um, you'll submit your receipt to Ibotta to get $1.25 back. And my referral code is VPCFRDP. It is also in the description box below if you are interested. If you are new to Ibotta, you will get a $10 bonus 
after your first redemption. For example, if you are new to Ibotta and if you were to do this particular deal, you will get a total of $11.25 back, so $10 from the bonus for being new and $1.25 if you buy this particular product. So the final cost will be $2.24. So the Fabuloso Ajax or Suavitel, these are going to be $249. So usually based on my past experience with this deal, we usually get a $1 off digital and you'll pay $149. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. Sometimes we also get like a 50 cents off digital. So if it's 50 cents off, then it'll be $199. So the Chlorlin, sorry if I mispronounced this, um, this is the toilet bowl cleaner. These are $2.49, you will use this $1 off digital and pay $1.49. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. So the Hallmark, if you can find this particular one, these are $2.99, you will use this $2 off digital and pay $0.99. Cents. You can pay this with Walgreens cash if the taxes bump it up to around a dollar and some change because Walgreens cash redemption starts at one dollar. If for some reason your state does not have sales tax or if it doesn't cover the taxes, then you have to add more items to your cart in order to redeem Walgreens cash. So the Charmin bath tissue, these are going to be $13.99. When you buy two, you get $5 Walgreens cash. So what you can do is buy two of these for $27.98, use the spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash. I'm assuming we may get like a $1 off digital for the Charmin on the 6th, so make sure that you check. If we don't get it, you can skip the deal. Um, you'll pay $26.98, you can pay $5 of it with Walgreens cash, and a $21.98 out of pocket. So for any spin deals and you're getting Walgreens cash back, it does matter how you pay, and you follow this equation in red. The forms of payment will be in a form of manufacturer coupons, um, manufacturer register rewards because they are manufacturer coupons, and the money out of pocket should be counted before taxes in this equation. And that should equal up to your spend threshold of your booster. So for example, we have a $1 manufacturer coupon, assuming we are not using any manufacturer register rewards, and you paid a $21 98 out of pocket before taxes you count this before taxes it'll be 22.98 so it'll be you know well over the um, spin threshold of 20 from the booster so that's why you can pay five dollars of it with walgreens cash the reason why you cannot pay more with walgreens cash because the next level of walgreens cash redemption is ten dollars so you know um, if you pay with $10 Walgreens cash, then you will lower your spin total to less than 20 if you plug in, you know, the out-of-pocket costs in the equation. So you can also lower your out-of-pocket costs by using manufacturer register rewards if you have them. And, you know, just plug in the numbers and, you know, if it reaches 20, then you're good to go and pay the rest with Walgreens cash. So you'll get back $5 Walgreens cash from the deal. $5 Walgreens cash for spending 20 from the booster using this equation in red. And the final cost is $16.98 for two or $8.49 each. So I want to know if you have a paper booster, um, go ahead and combine it with this digital one to get extra Walgreens cash back. So this is just a note. So if you are not using the Walgreens wallet or contactless payment, um, you cannot use Walgreens cash as a partial payment if you only use, you know, if you use a paper booster. You can only use Walgreens cash if you are using only the digital booster. Even if you are combining the paper and the digital version, you cannot use Walgreens cash to pay. The way around it is to use contactless payment. So, you know, I have been putting this in every video and Julia Carter was the only one to mention it to me. So thanks to her, I've been taking advantage of this. So if you are using a paper booster or if you are combining your paper booster and your digital booster, use the wallet from your app as your contactless payment. So how to use the wallet, I do have a fourth video link in the description box below showing you how to use it. And for that one is for virtual visa card, but you don't have to use a virtual visa card. You can use, you know, any credit or debit that you have. You can even, um, you know, if you have a virtual visa card and if you have a balance that is less than your total, um, you can actually 
do a partial payment with that virtual visa card and then pay the rest of it with other forms of payment like cash um, credit or debit if that makes sense if you have like a small amount of money left on your virtual visa card so this is the way around it and you know um, make sure that you pick how much Walgreens cash you want to use and then have the cashier scan a barcode and then after they scan the barcode you'll hand over all of your paper coupons or paper boosters so I just want to know you can combine you know your paper booster with your digital booster to get extra Walgreens cash back and you only need to spend the highest threshold of one of them to get all of your Walgreens cash back so the complete home sandwich bags, storage, or freezer bags, these are BOGO free. So usually, um, I know in the past we had like buy one, get two free. That was such a great deal. But recently, the best deal recently is BOGO free. So if you need these, um, you know, this is the week to get them. So you'll buy two of these for $2.79. The cheapest ones are $2.79. So, you know, since they're BOGO free, two of them will be $2.79. Um, it'll be $1.39 each. And you can pay this with Walgreens cash or a register reward. So I just want to note, um, register rewards sometimes affect manufactured digitals not coming off. So I know sometimes when you use a register reward, a digital that's supposed to attach to the item is supposed to come off, but it doesn't come off because the register reward is interfering with it, especially the manufacturer register rewards. If it's a store main, uh, register reward, it doesn't really interfere it in my experience. So. Um, if that's the case and your manufacturer coupon didn't come off, you can always contact customer service through phone or chat and usually they will reimburse you the, you know, uh, reimburse you in Walgreens cash for the coupon value if that happens. And you can also use um, register rewards without problems, especially the ones that are manufacturer coupons on the top. If you only use paper or printable manufacturer coupons, exclusively in a transaction without any manufactured digitals but you may need a filler if you have more manufactured coupons than items and you can also use register rewards on items without any manufactured coupons to lower your out of pocket so not all register rewards are manufactured coupons some of them will say store coupon on the top do not use these on spend deals, but if you are using it on a buy deal that already has a manufacturer coupon attaching to each item, um, you do not need a filler. And the ones with manufacturer coupon on the top, you can use these on spend deals because they are manufacturer coupons. But you may need a filler if you have more manufacturer coupons than items. I know sometimes, depending on a store, they will allow you to use more manufacturer registry words than items and it will still work out. So it really depends on a store. And some stores, they will limit you the amount that you can use. So the Scott paper products, these are $5, and there is a 55 cent printable from scottbrand.com for this. Um, the value of the coupon may vary from account to account, but on my account is 55 cents off. There's also a $1.25 of IVC on our Walgreens account. So anything that has my Walgreens behind the coupon is a store coupon, which is an IVC. So it will show up as IVC on your receipt because it's a store coupon. So anything that has it with, without the my Walgreens behind a coupon, then it's a manufacturer coupon. So you'll pay $3.20. You can pay this with Walgreens cash or a register reward. So I know some stores, they eliminated the, um, the booklet, which is, you know, a booklet containing all of the IVCs. It's called the monthly savings booklet. It's usually located at the front of the store near the weekly ads. It's those rectangular booklets. It will contain all of the IVCs with barcodes. And you can use that multiple times if your stores still have them displayed, you know, at the front of the store. They, they try to eliminate them at the end of September. So unfortunately, the digital version of it is only one time use. So if you want to take advantage of the IVC, usually it takes off, you know, 125 for each item. So you can print out two printables from scottbrand.com per account. So what you would do is buy two of these for $10, use two of the 55 cents off printables from scottbrand.com, and then the $1.25 off IVC would take off 125 for each one. If you are using the booklet or if you have an image of the IVC, you only need the cashier to scan it once and it will take off 125 for each 
one after they hit total. If you have this clip to your account, it should take off 125 for each one after they hit total. So it'll be a total of 250 off for two. So you'll pay 640 for two or 320 each. You can pay this with Walgreens cash or register rewards. Food deals. So the Pepsi, um, I know this particular coupon attaches to multiple items. So if you, you know, if you want to get something cheaper, you know, make sure that it attaches before you purchase the item. Uh, you could check online or on the app, like scan the product barcode in the app or uh, add, you know, the items to your cart to see if this digital comes off. So uh, for me, you know, you can get this Pepsi. I think this is the one liter for 149. So five of these will be 745. Use the three off five digital, pay 445 for five or 89 cents each. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. So I know that this digital was working on the Arizona's when I, you know, hit on shop for CVS, it was attaching to the Arizona's. But I'm not sure for Walgreens because I have not tried it out. You can always add five of the Arizona's to your cart online to see if this digital is coming off or if they fix the glitch. And um, there's also other items that are cheaper, like the lay stacks, but the stores around me, they don't carry the lay stacks anymore. So the Skippy peanut butter, these are two for five. You will use the $1 off digital, pay $4 for two or $2 each. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. I know towards the beginning of the week, we had like a 50 cents off I bought a rebate for, you know, the lower size or the smaller size Skippy, but they, it's gone now and they have it for the larger size. So it's not going to work for this, but keep checking Ibotta, maybe it'll, it'll appear. So the Nestle um, Toll House, these are the chocolate chips. These are $2.99. We do have a $1 off digital. You'll pay $1.99. You can pay this with Walgreens cash. So if you want to do like a food scenario, this is what you would do. You'll buy 10 of the one liter Pepsis for $14.90. They are $1.49. Two of the Skippy for $5. And one Toll House for $2.99. Total will be $22.89. You will use the spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash. 3 off 5 Pepsi or Lay's digital, 3 off 5 Pepsi or Lay's printable from coupons.com, $1 off Skippy, $1 off Toll House. So you'll pay $14.89, you can pay $2 of it with Walgreens cash, and a $12.89 plus tax out of pocket. Get back $5 Walgreens cash from the booster for spending $20 using this equation in red, and the final cost will be $9.89 for 13 items or $0.76 cents each. So this can be cheaper if you can get the 3 off 5 Pepsi or Lay's to attach to cheaper items if your store carries those cheaper items. So the Campbell's Condensed Soup, these are two for $2.49. So you'll buy four of these for $4.98, use the $0.60 cents off four digital, pay $4.38 for four or $1.09 each. You can pay this with Walgreens Cash. So the Trident Mega, these are $3. If you buy three of them, you can pay this with Walgreens cash or a register reward. There is a $1.99 back on two I bought a rebate, and your final cost is $101 for three or $0.34 cents each. Beauty slash personal care deals. So these are all part of the same deal, which is the deal of the week. They are all buy two, get $4 register reward. So just to be safe, do them in separate transactions so that you get a register rewards each time and do not roll the same register reward into the same deal. Use a different register reward if you are planning to use a register reward to pay for it um, from a separate deal so you get another register rewards back. So I thought this was part of the deal of the week. Then when I look closer, um, this deal is actually different. It's buy two, get $5 register reward instead of $4 register reward. So this should have been any household deal, but I want to mention it here before I get into the rest of the scenarios from the deal of the week. So I think this is a different deal. So what you would do is buy two of these for $23.98. They are $11.99 each. So I, I see that the Tide is included. So you'll buy one Tide Pods and one Tide Liquid. You will use the spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash, digital booster, $3 off Tide Pods, $3 off Tide Liquid. And all of these printables are from pggoodeveryday.com. So make sure that you print on the day that you are going to use these because these printables expire within 24 hours. The ones from coupons.com actually has, they have a longer expiration date. 
So um, also check for digitals because if we get digitals, then you don't have to print out these printables. You'll pay $17.98, you can pay $3 of it with Walgreens cash and a $14.98 out of pocket. Get back $5 register reward from the deal, $5 Walgreens cash for spending 20 from the booster um, using this equation in red. Final cost is $7.98 for two or $3.99 each. So here is the first scenario. So the Crest Oral B Scope or Bird's B, these are $5. When you buy two, you get a $4 register reward. So what you would do is buy two of these, so one Crest and one Bird's B for $10. Use the $4 off Crest and $3 off Bird's B. So both of these are, you know, just for you coupons for select accounts. If you don't have these coupons, skip this deal because there is another Crest Oral B and Bird's B Bird's Bees deal um, that I will show you later on that is a better deal um, and you can everyone can do them because I think everyone has those uh, digitals so you'll pay three dollars you can pay this a Walgreens cash get back four dollar register reward final cost is free and a one dollar money maker so the Tresemme, these are two for 12. So you'll buy two of these for $12. We are getting a three off two digital, pay $9. You can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $4 register reward. Final cost is $5 for two or $2.50 each. So also check for higher value digitals because sometimes we get like a five off two for the Tresemme. If not, then this will be the deal. So the Old Layer Old Spice, these are $7. When you buy two, you get $4 register reward. I recommend that you get the Olay because we have a ton of rebates for those. So you can buy three of these for $21, use the spend 20, get $5 Walgreens cash. And it says that we're getting a two off two digital. So you'll pay $19, you can pay $1 of it with Walgreens cash and an 18 out of pocket. Get back $4 register reward from the deal, $5 Walgreens cash from the booster for spending 20 using this equation in red. And there's $5 back on three for the Olay body wash from Ibotta. And your final cost is $5 for three or $167 each. So if you paid most of this out of pocket, um, keep your receipts because it will count towards the PNG rebate and the Olay rebate. So this is the Olay rebate. So basically when you spend 25 after all coupons and discounts and before taxes, um, you get a $25 reward. So and it's not a Visa card. I did check. It was more like, um, you know, an e-gift card for Macy's, Hulu, Adidas. So it's for other stores. So you can choose. And I found this when I was searching, you know, for the Olay deal. So basically it says additional perks. You click on that and that's where I found it. And you have to put www before the Olay holiday gift rebate in order for it to work. Because if you just um, copy and paste that, it's not going to show up. So put the www before it. And um, the time frame for this is November 1st through December 31st. So this is a new rebate. And I already mentioned this in my CVS deals breakdown video if you you know, if you also coupon at CVS. And it's not so specifically for Walgreens. I did check. It seems like as long as the store, you know, sells Olay, um, they will accept it. So they do accept multiple receipts. So, you know, um, it does track and it is a limit of one per household per address. So this is the PNG rebate and um, one of you commented that you contacted PNG and they fixed um, the Olay body wash. So before they were accepting only the premium ones, but I think now they should be accepting the regular ones. So if they deny you before, um, you can resubmit your receipt and see what happens. So be very careful with this particular rebate. I recommend that you check the UPC barcode from the online form before you purchase the items. So so that you know you'll be for sure that you're getting the rebate and each item must be at least five dollars after coupons and discounts but before taxes and the spend 50 or 20 threshold must be after coupons and discounts but before taxes and a time frame is september 25th through november 20th and they do accept multiple receipts so make sure that you keep your receipt and it is a limit of one per household per address so this will be in a form of a prepaid visa card the 15 dollars or five dollar reward that will be mailed to you so it is a physical card and i do have both of these rewards linked in the description box for your reference 
So the huggies or pull-ups, these are two for $21. So what you would do is buy two of the pull-ups newly for $21. Use the spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash, and this four off to digital. You'll pay $17. You can pay $1 of it with Walgreens cash and a 16 out of pocket. Get back $4 register reward from the deal, $5 Walgreens cash from the booster for spending 20 using this equation in red. And there's also a $5 I bought a rebate for the pull-ups new leaf. So your final cost is $3 for two or one. 50 each. So the chapstick, it is working on the single ones. So these are 149. You will use this one dollar off digital and pay 49 cents. So the Ivory Olay or Safeguard, these are BOGO 50% off. When you buy two, you get a $3 register reward. So you'll buy two of the Safeguard if the ones that are $3.99 are included. So two of them will be $5.98. Use the one off two digital, pay $4.98. You can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $3 register reward, and your final cost is $1.98 for two or 99 cents each. So the L'Oreal skincare, so these are part of the buy two get the third free promotion and you can mix and match. So if you have this only for you coupon for select accounts, you can buy three of these. These are $12.49. So since you know two, they will charge you for two of them and the third one will be free. So that's why three of them will be $24.98. You will use the spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash and this 15 $15 off to digital. You'll pay $9.98. You can pay $4 of it with Walgreens cash and a $5.98 out of pocket. Get back $5 Walgreens cash for spending $20 from the booster using this equation in red. Final cost is $4.98 for three or $1.66 each. So I will show you how to get this for cheaper um, in the ultimate scenario. So the Revlon Cosmetics or Beauty Tools, these are spin 25, get $5 register reward. So if you still have all of these digitals, this is what you can do. You can buy one of the setting powder for $10.69, one of the eyeliner, so it'll be 50% off the $5.99, so it'll be $2.99, and four tweezers for $12.86. So it'll be, you know, BOGO 50% off the same item rather than, you know, the lower price item. That's how it is at Walgreens. So your total will be $26.54. Use the spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash, five off two tools, four off two tools, $4 off eye or lip, and $5 off face. So you'll pay $8.54. You can pay $5 of it with Walgreens cash and a $3.54 out of pocket. So if it's a spin deal and you're getting registry rewards back, it doesn't matter how you pay and you'll, you'll still get the registry rewards back. So in this case, you only need to spend 20 because of the booster. So you'll get back $5 registry reward from the deal for spending 25 and $5 Walgreens cash from the booster for spending 20. So you only need to spend 20 because the only time that it matters and you have to use this equation in red is if it's a spin deal and you're getting Walgreens cash back. If it's a spin deal and you're getting registry rewards back, it actually doesn't matter how you pay. So you'll, the final cost will be free and a $1.46 moneymaker. So if you don't have a booster, you can pay all of it, like all of the $8.54 out of uh, Walgreens cash, and the final cost will be $3.54. So the Army Hammer toothpaste, these are $2.99. You can pay this with Walgreens cash or a register reward. There is a $2 I bought a rebate and the final cost will be 99 cents. So the Colgate toothpaste, these are $3.99. When you buy two, you get $4 register reward. You'll buy two of these for $7.98. Use the $1 off digital and $1 off printable from coupons.com. You'll pay $5.98. You can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $4 register reward, and the final cost is $1.98 for two or 99 cents each. Or you could get the, the ones that are $2.99, so these are buy two, get $2 register reward. You'll buy two of these for $5.98, use the $1 off digital and $1 off printable from coupons.com, pay $3.98, you can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $2 register reward, and the final cost is $1.98 for two or 99 cents each. So I have four scenarios for this particular deal. So these are $4, the Crest Oral B or Burt's B. When you buy two, you get $5 register reward. So if you have some of these, you know, just for you coupons, you'll buy two of these for $8, so get two Crest. You will use the $4 off Crest and $2 off Crest. You'll pay $2, you can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $5 register reward, and your final cost is free and a $3 moneymaker. 
or you can do two, so one Burt's Bee and one Crest for $8, use the $3 off Burt's Bee and $4 off Crest. You'll pay $1, you can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $5 register reward, final cost is free and a $4 money maker. So I'm assuming everyone has the 3 off 2 and the 5 off 3. So if you have the 3 off 2, you'll buy 2 of the Oral B for $8, use the 3 off 2 digital, pay $5. You can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $5 register reward. There is a $1 I bought a rebate, it is a limit of 5, so get $2 back for 2. Final cost is free and a $2 money maker. Or you could get three of these for $12, use the 5 of 3 digital, pay $7, you can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $5 register reward, and there is a $1 I bought a rebate, so you get um, $3 back for three, final cost is free, and a $1 money maker. So here is a booster scenario. So you can buy one Corlin, Corlin, the toilet bowl cleaner for $2.49, one chapstick for $1.49, two safeguard for $5.98, one Arm & Hammer toothpaste for $2.99, and two Oral-B toothbrush for $8. Total will be $20.95. Use the spend 20, get $5 Walgreens cash, $1 off Penalin or Corlin, sorry if I mispronounced these, $1 off Chapstick, one off two Safeguard, and three off two Oral-B. Your total coupons will be $6. You'll pay $14.95, all out of pocket, get back $3 register reward from the Safeguard, $5 register reward from the Oral-B, and $5 Walgreens cash from a booster for spending 20 using this equation in red. And then you'll submit your receipt to Ibotta to get $2 back for the Arm & Hammer and a total of $2 back for the Oral B. So your final cost is free and a $2.05 money maker. So for these deals, I would check to see if we get high value manufactured digitals or any manufactured digitals to work with. I know the CoverGirl, we have Ibotta rebates for those, so if we get some more manufactured digitals, it could be a good deal. And same goes for the Nexus, if we get some digitals. The Shea Moisture, they did increase the price of the bar soap, now it's $6.99. I know it used to be $4.19, so if we get like a 5 off 2 or 6 off 2 Shea Moisture, um, these bar soaps will be really cheap, but it won't be as cheap as before. And the big disposables, um, we do have I bought a rebates for that. So if we get any digitals to work with, this could be a good deal. And the degree deodorant, I know in the past week we did get high value digitals. So if we get it again, it could be a good deal. Health deals. So the Excedrin, these are spin 20, get $10 Walgreens cash. So what you can do is buy two of these for $26.98, they are $13.49. I think these are the 100 count. Use the spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash, and the 6 off 2 digital. You'll pay $20.98, you can pay $5 of it with Walgreens cash, and a $15.98 out of pocket. Get back $10 Walgreens cash for spending 20. So you only need to spend 20 to get everything back. So 20 from the deal and 20 from the boot. Booster. So you only need to spend 20 using this equation in red and $5 Walgreens cash from a booster. So the final cost is $5.98 for two or $2.99 each. Or um, if the Advil 20 count is part of this deal, so these are buy two, get $5 register reward. So if the 20 count is included, you'll buy um, Two of these, so these are $5.39, second one will be 50% off, two of them will be $8.08, and the six off two is attaching to those, so you'll pay $2.08, you can pay this with Walgreens cash, get back $5 register reward, and the final cost will be free and a $2.91 money maker. If they are not included, skip the deal. So the Nature's Bounty, we did receive a new Ibotta rebate for this. So these are the um, jelly beans. So these are $14.99 and if they are still Boco 50% off, this is what you would do. You'll buy two of these for $22.48, use the spin 20, get $5 Walgreens cash. And I have two $1 off digitals on my account. So I have been clipping these um, through, you know, throughout every time we get them because in case you, we get this, I bought a rebate again, um, it will be a good deal. So I have one that expires on the 12th and one that expires on the 19th. So you'll pay $20.48, you can pay $2 of it with Walgreens cash and the $18.48 out of pocket. Get back $5 Walgreens cash from a booster for spending $20 um, using this equation in red. If there's $14.99 back on two from Ibotta for this particular product, and the final cost is $0.49 cents for two or $0.24 cents each. 
So the Centrum Emergency or Caltrate, these are spin 35, get $7 Walgreens cash. Sometimes we do get high value digitals for Centrum and even I bought a rebate. So if we get those, this could be a decent deal. So we will have to wait and see. Miscellaneous deals. So this is a gift card deal. So when you buy any two of these, you get a $5 Walgreens gift card. So make sure that you pay out of pocket because I know Walgreens cash or register rewards, they do exclude things like, you know, dairy, tobacco, gift cards, and etc. And I want to know, you can actually get like the cheapest gift cards here and, you know, get two of those and get the $5 Walgreens gift card. I think the cheapest one based on the picture is the Domino's. It's a $15 gift card ultimate scenario so you'll buy two of the earl b for eight dollars and three l'oreal moisturizer for 24.98 and your total will be 32.98 you will use the spin 20 get five dollar walgreens cash the three off two oral b and 15 off two l'oreal moisturizer your total coupons will be 18 dollars you'll pay 14.98 you can pay 10 dollars of it with walgreens cash and a 4.98 out of pocket get back five dollar register reward from the oral b and five dollar walgreens cash from a booster for spending 20 using this equation in red and there's also a one dollar i bought a rebate for the oral b it is a limit of five so get two dollars back for two your final cost will be nine the 298 for five or 60 cents each and that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.